Tobias. Yeah. When I first met the guy, he was Tobias. <laughs> Tobias, Prime, Tobias, Great, Prime, Great. How many times y'all do we turn? We change every seven years. Yeah, he had a midlife crisis. Perfect. I just want to find it. I just want to find it. Your life, little girl, is an empty page that men will want to write on. What up, though? It's your main man, KP. Welcome back to Sneakers and Sports. Of course, you got my man, Dre, my boy, Dom, and, of course, Mike, the expert. We're here to put it all on wax for y'all. Sneakers and Sports is the best place to pull up if you want to hear sports, sneakers, and a little bit of hot topics while we hang out at our favorite place. Man, we got a great show for y'all. You know we at the world-famous LOL Burger Bar, the best burgers and wings in all of Atlanta, so you know how we do it. That's correct, man. So, Let's do it. What y'all been up to this week? Mike, the expert, what's been going on for you this week, bro? Oh, man, nothing much, but I will tell you, I just copped them threes. Okay. The midnight. I don't know if you can see my foot there or whatever, but, you know, I'm happy about those. You know, I got them in blue, of course. Everything love, blue. Oh, yeah. I love the blue. <laughs> I love the blue. You know, blue, white, black. You know, I feel you. I love, yeah. These things, they nice. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Classic. Yeah, of course. Fresh out the box. Fresh out the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Fresh out the box. box. So yeah, most Fresh definitely. Out. I like. It. Yeah, yeah. So where'd you copy from? Oh, Flight Club, man. You know, okay. shout out to Flight Club. You know, most definitely. You All know, right. hooking a brother up. Okay. Yep, My yep. favorite store, the world famous Flight Club. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Don, what's been going on? What's crack lacking? Man, it's been a hard work week, but we here. Okay. Weekend, we here. Yes, to sir. Some of these topics, some of these sports topics. You know what I'm saying? So what's up, Dre? What you been up to this week? Man. I as long as it's been in Atlanta, I've been went to the Porsche experience, mm -hmm. oh, and okay. um, didn't get a chance to drive any though. But I went to the um, museum, and I got to see the very first Porsche ever made. Wow! You know, but I don't think it was the exact car. Yeah, it's a three sixty five. Three sixty five. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the model. That's a, um, hey. Man, Porsche man, shout out to Porsche. Man. Man. This man go everywhere, don't invite nobody. Well, I was there and I had a good time. Oh, you were there. Oh, we, we saw all the we saw all the tight whips. We had a we had a bite. We had a good time. We went to the Heritage Museum. It was good things. It was good things. Oh, and we saw the new uh 2025 electric Macan. Yeah, not even available. Now here's the thing: when they have special events, I'm expecting an invite. Okay. Hook a brother up. Oh, and we saw the Tycon too. In a new color. So this is cool. If y'all don't know, y'all never been to Porsche uh in Atlanta. First off, it's a dope experience right by the airport in Hateville. But one of the things that's really cool about the building, uh, from Civil War on, y'all know the Avengers changed headquarters. Remember, they used to be in downtown New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the actual place where Avengers headquarters is is the Porsche experience. It's oh, the wow. same building, yeah. so it's pretty cool. And we had a guy show us basically everywhere they filmed each movie, from Captain America to all the Avengers movies, and it was pretty okay. cool. Oh, it's cool experience. Now that I think about it, it does look good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see it. You'll see it. Sounds see like it. a great experience. You know? So what are we talking about uh, today? What are we jumping into, uh, Dre? And so we want to talk about. So of course, y'all know we at the world famous LOL Burger Bar. We always get down for a great conversation. So now it's time to get into some hot topics. Talk a little bit of sports. Dre, what are we jumping into first? Well, we got we to talk about what Dame, Dame Time said, Damian Lillard. Yo, he, he said Kyrie Irving is the most skilled player of all time. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about the most skilled guy. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree that he's the most skilled player of all time. Actually, I'll take it even further. If Kyrie Irving was 6'7 or 6'8, he would be the best basketball player especially offensively, to ever play the game. Wow. He has all the wow. skills. That's a big yeah. statement. Oh, yeah. Most That's a big has, statement. He has all the skills to do it. The ball handling, the man can shoot, the man can post up, the right. man has the fadeaway. I mean, he, he does everything offensively. He can dunk. 
Oh yeah, he yeah. can dunk. He, he just <laughs> caught a lot. Yeah, he just yeah. caught yeah. a lot. That's so to his teammate. You yeah. trying to you trying to put something on Luca right now? That's what you trying to do? <laughs> you going at the Don's head? Yeah. I mean, it's like to say ever though. I just I would really when I, when I saw that statement, I was mm-hmm. like, man, I had to really think though. Like, I don't think I know of anybody that has the ball in on the field. Is that right? I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I, Ball handling specific. Yeah, yeah. He's also clutch. He's a finisher. Okay. Now, here's maybe what somebody, I mean, that has nothing to do with the skill. Mm-hmm. Or so that would be right. But some people would say, you know, maybe basketball is not his first love. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe but, he's got. Yeah, but that has nothing that, to do with But do you hold that back against skill, though? Yeah, that has no, nothing to do with the skill. That's what I said. You yeah. can't say skill. Okay. Right. You can't say skill, but maybe that is what is not. Having people put him at the top, like, cause like before the Mavericks, people kind of like, man, Kyrie on his own thing. He, wait a minute, really wait a minute, no wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Top Hold players, on, though. that sounds like revisionist history, bro. Well, this man hit the biggest shot in NBA Finals no, history. That was oh, yeah. Ten years ago, it don't matter. Oh, yeah. It happened. So he may not be. I'm not saying he's a, a top five player in the league. Right. I'm just saying his skill skill set, wise. Yeah, yeah. skill wise, yeah. he's the best power I ever. Pound. Yeah, the best power for pound skill. He's the best I've ever seen. He's okay. the best I ever seen. I got to agree, man. Skill. Yeah. I mean, power even for finishing. Skill, yeah, you talking yeah. about a guy that has mm-hmm. the full dribble package. He can give you the AI. He can yeah. give you the Tim Hardaway. He can give you the Magic Johnson. He's a great passer. Has great vision. Did you say offensive skill though? Because yeah, that's what we're talking about. Right. Yeah. Not no, he can finish with both hands. He got the perfect English. Not defense. He got the he got no, the George not Durbin. defense. Of course, not defense. But yeah, we can't we can't maybe hold. Maybe they should have put offensive. Okay, skill. fine. And we'll say yeah, offense. offense. It's our show, so yeah. we can say right. okay. Offensively skill, but Dan didn't say it. He said. The most I mean, I think it's implied. I think it's implied. Yeah, it's implied. I mean, we can't we can't hold defense against Kyrie Irving and, right. and not hold it against Magic Johnson and everybody says right. The and best Steph Curry and a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, okay. none of those guys. Play. MJ at the top. We put him at the top. Yeah, but okay. Okay. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, Offense and defense. If we okay. talk okay. about okay. offense and defense, right? MJ is not the best defensive player to ever play the no, game. He's not. He's not. And he don't even have the best great. defensive skill ever. He was great at mm-hmm. defense. I would probably. Y'all may not like this, but I'll put Scotty ahead of him on defense. Of course. I might put Ron Artest ahead of him. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll put Akeem Olajuwon as a defender. And Dennis Rodman. But Dennis Rodman can guard five positions. Yeah, but most of those guys. Possibly LeBron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but most of those guys, most of those guys you name, most of them focus more on defense than exactly. anything anyway. Defensive so players. that's why they're going to be. With the exception yeah, of and LeBron, that's, I mean, you yeah. know. There's not, there's not too many people that can do what Michael Jordan did and still be the type of defender that Michael exactly. Jordan was. Exactly. So that's why he's the GOAT, because he puts it all together. But just skill set, I mean, you give, push it, put it this way, Michael Jordan's the greatest to ever play. Right. But you give him Kyrie Irving's skill set too. Handles the and handles, shot. Yeah. The handles, the, the shot. Yeah. I mean, MJ boy, MJ would be, would be even, handle, yeah. yeah. He's more MJ he can yeah. really handle the ball like that. So it was a little different. Well, MJ well, he handled. Yeah, MJ handled. He just wasn't on that level. I agree with Mike the expert. So this is where I'm gonna go with it. This was once said by a legend we all respect. The Black Mamba mm-hmm. called the man the Little Mamba, yeah. and he earned that respect at Team USA because he challenged him to a one-on-one game, and Kyrie was only in his sophomore year in the NBA, mm-hmm. and gave Kobe the business. Yeah, Kobe barely beat the man. So you think about everything that he can do. And just from a standpoint of, if you look at that finals, there was nothing they could do with the guy. Yeah. Anybody who put on him, he dogged him. I mean, when he's in his bag and he's hot, you just better hope he cool off because there's nothing you're going to do to stop him. He got everything in the package. And to Mike, the expert's point, if that boy was 6'6 six, six or 6'7, six, he would be in the conversation of probably the top three players all time. Exactly. exactly. If he was 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, have you ever seen somebody 6'7, six, 6'8? Six, no, 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 not at all. Not but they don't need it though never. because it's so tall. I haven't no. seen anybody with that type of handles. I've seen people with handles, close. but Kyrie, yeah, I've seen like close. Iverson's close. Iverson had Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas, yeah, yeah, Isaiah had, Thomas had, had handles. Isaiah Thomas, yeah, handle. yeah, I think his handle was better than Iverson to tell you the truth. Tim Hardaway, you know, yeah, Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. Yeah, but Hardaway. if, if yeah. that guy was taller, the Cavs may they may have won five in a row with him on the block. This episode was brought to you by LOL Burger Bar. Oh. 
located at 2080 DeForest Ferry Road, Atlanta. They've got the best burgers, wings, and shakes in the city, period. You're welcome. Isaiah Thomas, he asked, well, he said that Stephon Marbury should be in the Hall of Fame. Woo! Do you all agree with that, that Stephon Marbury should be a Hall of Fame? I'm going to go ahead and touch that, man. Mm-hmm. The man got 16,000 points and seven, uh, 7,000 assists. Oh, yeah. Career, 19 points a game and seven assists player. That sounds like Steve Nash. Steve Nash going to the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. And you got to think, this man been a dog with the Timberwolves. He was a dog with the Suns. He was a dog with the Nets. He played well with the Knicks. Then he went to China and balled out. You know, and that was more of a political thing why he got kicked out the NBA. But it's hard. When you talk about point guards, mm-hmm. you can't really tell the story without Stephon Marbury. Just be honest, bro. Well, and, 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 uh, and the Hall of Fame of basketball. The Hall of Fame. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. The Hall of Fame of basketball is about everything. Oh, it's not just. It, it's and that's why I say Georgia yes, Tech. Yeah, all of that. It's right. Well, I say right. yes because if they're going to add, because now it's you know it's the basketball Hall of Fame. Right. So yeah. they're going to add it. So why did Yao Ming make a Hall of Fame? Exactly. Because of China and all right. that stuff. Right. So Stephon Marbury was in Tracy China. McGrady. Yeah. We've always talked you know. about this. We do not really compare NFL Hall of Fame. Yeah. To the to the basketball Hall of Fame because the difference is with the basketball Hall of Fame. I mean, you can do something at a young age and now you're a Hall of Famer. But yes. you cannot do it at the highest level. Christian Leitner. Yeah, yeah. Christian Leitner. Yeah, all these yeah. like you know superstar college athletes that mm-hmm. didn't really pan uh, out in the in, in NBA. Fact. So I say that because of that, his college career. Says that he should be in. Plus the NBA, plus China. Now the NBA, if it was just strictly off of NBA, I don't know. Didn't Stephon Marbury only make two All Star teams? Yeah, two. Now, but that was one of the legendary performances in the All Star. Oh game. yeah, him and Iverson. He did great. Yeah, DC. So him, him and Iverson went wild in DC. Yes, that was a yeah. You see, and that, that's what we're talking about because we're comparing these years All Star games to yeah. those type of All Star games that. Show that Iverson and Stefan put on. Mm-hmm. I don't. I forgot the year, but uh, I think it's yeah. like O two because it's, it's DC. Oh, they they did they, they, they think. Yeah, they they did, did, they did. Did. yeah. yeah. There you go. But comparing him to other point guards, John Stockton, nah, Gary Payton. No, no. You know, look at these guys made at least nine All Star teams in right. their Hall of Fame and got gold medals. You, yeah, and they helped him. You put Stefan Marbury in that group. His accolades don't equal up to that. So, Dre, so let me I ask you this: Do you no. think that? We kind of putting Steph in his in his era, right? Mm-hmm. If you look at when he played in the West, man, he had a murderous role just to get to the, the All Star game. Mm-hmm. At the beginning of his career, he still got to compete with John Stockton, the Glove. You know, you got Steve Nash. It was loaded. All these guys yeah. on the West and even on the East too, mm-hmm. like Steve Francis. These are all guys that he got to get voted in. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. So he didn't make the cut. So he probably, based off that, he shouldn't be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, unless I can't, I can't, unless I you use it. You can't put him in there? I mean, but Great player, though. I mean, you, you mentioned it was, it's basketball. It's all basketball. Yeah, so all with right. the China right. stuff. Right. Yeah. College, you know, mm-hmm. and international professional. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, but what's the criteria here? Like, I mean, That's I, the I, best I question. We were, yeah. I mean, I thought it was, it was about, you know, champion, being a champion and um you know, changing the game. Did Stephon, uh, can we say Stephon Marbury changed the game? Like Steve Nash did? Uh, like I mean, he's Steph- revered as a New York point guard. Magic Johnson did. He was, he was a legend on the street, though. He's revered yeah. as a New York point guard. And I can't I can't say championships because then Charles Barkley wouldn't be a Hall right. of Famer. Or, he's or, definitely, or, or Carl Malone. Malone. And they're definitely a Hall of Famer. So I can't really use well, championships. Well, you can't say championship, yeah. right? But, yeah. but, like, I feel like everybody just goes to the uh, Hall <laughs> they do. They do. They do. They do. I mean, that's the thing. You can be like, just think about it. If LeBron would never have gone to the NBA, mm-hmm. just at St. Vincent, St. Mary's, the type of notoriety that he got, <laughs> he would be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> if he would have gone to the NBA, he would have gone to the NBA. He would have gone to the King James, I did not say that. That's, that's dumb. Yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Ronnie, Ronnie James could be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, all right, all right, I got a, I got a good one then. So, uh-huh. 
will you if you would keep him out, would that mean that Tracy McGrady and Vince Carter wouldn't make it? Because see, that's what that's what I'm trying to lean toward. Like Tracy, Tra McGrady. I'm like Tracy, Tracy, like, like Tracy, Tracy McGrady like, had a better career though. I'm not. He had a better NBA. He had a better career. I mean, better yeah, scoring champion, yeah, scoring point? championships, I mean, he all star game. He did, but in that time that he was there, scoring championship, um, all star I mean, games. Like I mean, dude. Time. Stephon Marbury don't got Somebody nothing. Somebody else that got hampered by injury, Grant Hill. And Guess what? Mm -hmm. Duke, he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Right? What about Yao Ming? He was about injury. Yeah. He didn't go because of the NBA. You know, mm -hmm. but he, he was out of school. Tracy McGrady to me was on the on the fringe as far as right. making the Hall of Fame. I agree. But I do put him. I do think he deserved it more than Stephon Marbury. Wow. Not putting. I'm talking about just based off the NBA. Yeah, now, yeah. If you put it total all together, Stefan Marbury, because of what he did in China, you and know, college. Deserve, yeah. Well, even even take college out, just what he did in China, he revolutionized everything yeah. out yeah, there. Yeah, he did. You know, he he's did. a man. So yeah, he definitely he deserves in. because so of that. Yeah. And China. I mean, wasn't he? I thought he was on the USA basketball team. He was. He was on the team that, in uh, Athens that got the uh, Brazil. Excuse me, got the bronze got the medal. Bronze, right. Yeah. Uh, of course, thanks to Larry Brown botching it and not knowing how to coach these guys up. Mm -hmm. How do you have Allen Iverson, Tim Duncan, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, uh, Marbury, and Iverson? You can't, you can't get to the gold medal game. At this point in time, you make it to USA basketball. Pretty much all those guys. You know what I mean? Think about it. Not all of them. No. Tayshawn Tay Prince, not a Hall of Fame. Antonio McDice. Yeah, those guys were USA basketball. Michael Redd. Yeah. They're not Hall of Fame. They were. They were in the. They were the Olympic team. Yeah. 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 Tayshaun Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah. yeah. They yeah. Dice on the, the team in two thousand with Vince Carter. We put that boy in the poster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah. Vince deserves to be in there. Tracy deserves. Hey. To be in. Oh, speaking of, of posters, though, this week, boy, that boy Ant Man was. Oh, ooh, yeah. oh Lord, ooh, what he did yeah. to John Collins. Now that's a future Hall of Famer ooh. right there. Oh my. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Hey, that's another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a future <laughs> Hall of Famer. That he man. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't because of that dunk. That no, man, that man this is the talented. worst part about it, though. John Collins went from posterizing uh, right. Embiid to being on the poster. Right. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Like yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. For real, for real. So what else we got, fellas? What, 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 where we going next with it? All right. So, you know, we got all these new young guys that yeah. are coming into the league. Mm -hmm. And we got the main one that they're all talking about, Victor Wembyana. Wimby. Yeah, Wimby. Yeah. Do you think that Wimby is a top 20 player already Ooh. in the league? In the league. Ooh. Yeah, currently, currently in the league. Ugh. You want to touch that first? You got that one, Dom? Man, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to say yes. I'm going to have to say yes. You I think mean, so? I got to think about I, and, I, and I'm I'm kind of trying to compare him to the other big man in the league. Mm -hmm. All right, who do we compare him to? Uh, Jokic, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. MB, MB, mm -hmm. uh, AD, AD, uh -huh. Davis, Greek uh, Freak. There's three. I mean, Giannis. Yeah, you say Giannis, the Greek Freak. Mm -hmm. Okay, we um, already we already compare him defensively to Tim Duncan. Yeah. He's not over those middle, guys. You know what I'm saying? He's like, not over those guys yet. I didn't say he's over. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not yeah. saying he, okay. but like after that, after I think of those big men, like I can't. But well, when you say top twenty, well, you, say you saying everybody. everybody. So like, yeah, it's not I wouldn't put him though. above Ja. I wouldn't put him. This is a good question. Is he above Zion? Well, yeah. No, no. I yeah. think Zion. You, have you been watching the? Have you been Zion. watching this yet? Zion. Zion. Zion he's I'm acting a fool balling. lately. He's acting Zion. a fool lately. Zion been balling out. Yeah, Zion lost. Me. The Pelicans can really do something. <laughs> every time he's on the court, every time he's on the court, he's ball. Yeah. Yeah. They can do some stuff. They go into the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, Brandon Ingram. A play. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon Ingram is hurt. Yeah. Some weight on him. Pause. Hey yo! Oh. <laughs> but I don't think Wimby's a top twenty player yet. I think he eventually he'll be there. He'll probably be one of the top five best out there. But I don't think he's a top twenty player right now. I actually made a list of twenty players. I ain't gonna name all of them. Okay, but give us I some. Made, no, no, no. Give us some because I give you I some. Gotta give us something to yeah. compare to. Because I give you some. Because Wimby's so, averaging what, like uh, nineteen and ten. 
Yeah, something like that. So mm -hmm. Nikola Jokic. Okay. Yes. Joel Embiid, yeah. Giannis, LeBron. Mm -hmm. Now, I put Jimmy Butler, but I'm gonna take him out. I'm mm -mm. gonna take him out. And I can put in Carl Anthony Towns. Yes. Or, you know, I'll put Carl Anthony Towns there. And Carl I, Anthony Towns? Oh my goodness. Do you watch basketball? No, I, I, I <laughs> Hey man, you might want to take your sunglasses off. Oh, you know what? Carl, okay, forget Carl. Oh, go you ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I see some of your list. Uh huh. I might say at this stage, he might be better than James Harden. Okay. Yeah. Take, take James Harden. Is he, man, is he, he, is be he better list. than Tyrese Halliburton? No. Exactly. No, so take James Harden no, out, no, put in Tyrese Halliburton. He's he not better. Than, he not better than Ant Man. Yeah, no. he ain't better than Ant Man. Yeah. So I'll take James Harden out. I'll put in Halliburton, and Wimby still ain't in there. You see what I'm saying? Luka, Luka yeah. Jason Tatum, yeah. Um, Anthony Davis. I'll probably Curry. say Jalen Brown too. Yeah. Wait, Anthony Davis. I didn't even got. We, are we counting? <laughs> Anthony Davis, Steph Curry, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Kawhi, yeah, Damian right. Miller, Jamal right. Murray, Shea Gildrick Alexander, Donovan yeah. Mitchell, John Morant. He's right. Aaron Fox. He Kyrie say Irving. LeBron. Yeah. No, I say LeBron. I put him in there. Wow. You yeah. see, so all those guys are better. Yeah. They He's on the outside looking in. I don't know about yeah, I put Zion on the outside yeah, looking. I, and I didn't even say Zion. I put him as an honorable right. mention. Right? Yeah, did you, you know, say so. Ja? Yeah. yeah, I said Ja. Okay, yeah. yeah. So He's on the outside looking in. I don't think Wimby's there okay. yet. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, but he's a rookie. How many rookies are we still? Oh, he's in the next conversation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But what about Chet Hover? Is he is he a lot better? He ain't a lot better than Chet Hover. No, he's not. He's just not getting the, Chet, the just, publicity. Yeah. But Chet is just as good I as guess we don't really see. They don't. Yeah. Right. Their like, games aren't yeah. even on TV. Like if that. he's on a good team and they ball and he has and he has players on the team that are better than him. Right. But his numbers and everything is just like winning. Yeah. Facts. And then with Shea yeah. taking up so much space, mm -hmm. it's hard to notice Chet. Right. That's and true. Chet is a he's a he's a beast. Wendy literally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But if Chet was in that same situation, his numbers would look similar. Yeah. Right. Hey, man, it's going to be crazy to watch them two battling it out. Okay. All right, so what we got next? So, speaking of that, so, I mean, since we're still on the NBA, who do you think the biggest threats are in the Western Conference? What teams? The All right, so threat. you're talking about the Denver, basically, right? Yes. The Western Conference. All right, so uh, I would say the Suns, now they've gotten it together. If, mm -hmm. if Bradley Bill can that actually – Yes, they're winning. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The if Suns Bradley Bill can stay healthy, they're a threat. Yeah, I mean – That still remains to be seen. The I thing – oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, the Timberwolves for sure. Absolutely. I'll give you that. Absolutely. The Timberwolves are a threat, but they're with, injured. With Cat. With Cat. Yeah, because Cat and – um. And Cat's supposed to be back for the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. They're two, they're two big men are injured right now. So, Gobert. Yeah, Gobert. I don't, his name slipped right out of my head. But, yeah, Cat and Gobert injured. So, I don't know how that's going to be. Yeah, I know Gobert was in the game earlier today, but I think he came out. He came out, against okay. the Cavs. But, and yeah, with Cat and Gobert, I mean, yeah, they're a threat. I mean, they're in the number one spot. <laughs> How can you not be a threat? Yeah, know? then the Suns, they just don't play defense. They don't play right. good defense. And that's why I don't I see them as a threat. Like yeah, it's hard league. when you have the big like, three. Yeah. Yeah, that big three. All right, so we take the Suns out. So we got mm -hmm. we got the Timberwolves. Yeah, you got the uh, Timberwolves. The Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah. yeah, man. They might be young. The thunder, and that's the thing. Nobody probably is – like. A few mm -hmm. people are talking about them. They don't get a lot of notoriety. Yeah, yeah. They're not on Sports Center all the time. But I mean, and Shea dropping thirty Shea. on your head every day. Shea, Shea Chet, Quiet. all them boys. Uh, I mean, I don't mm -hmm. know. Man. And they got a lot of they're young so killers young. too. Yeah, they do. They got a lot. They do. They're gonna probably Dor make a Giddy, yeah, Hungry, yeah. Shea. Yeah. They're gonna probably make a lot of mistakes. It's though. like it's like almost yeah. you know like them all rookie teams to where it's like. The rookie and the sophomores, they have yeah, like the yeah. whole all rookie mm -hmm. sophomore Facts. team on the Thunder right now playing, and like everybody else can't really keep up. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, shoot, these young guns is like kind of killing, right? Yeah, they can really surprise some people. Mm -hmm. they're, so they're that's, young. that's two, right? Yeah. Okay. What you think, Drake? Uh, I was thinking. Don't no. say the lake show. <laughs> It's okay, man. We try to stay it's in okay. the plane. Hey, right are coming, man. This is why you need new friends, isn't it? We try to stay in the plane. Hey, we can we can surprise some of them though. No. We can surprise some of them. Well, Lakers fans are so delusional. You can surprise them in the plane. 
we get the right matchup, we can surprise. Lakers fans are so delusional, bro. They so delusional. The Warriors love to play. And remember, they said this about us last year. Uh huh. We all went to the Warriors. Yeah. Okay. We wait. What happened when you got there? We went did against you, Denver. The champions. Did you win any games? No, we did not. The oh, champions okay. beat us. The champions they won champions, yeah. That, but they became the champions. The ones, the people who went to go be the champions, they the ones who beat us. Y'all must go beat. LeBron's going to have like 60 just to avoid the nuts. <laughs> We just, we just, just so I don't have to face yo. We just need Jared Vanderbilt to come back and we straight, you know. Oh gosh, this man's a Jared Vanderbilt. Are you kidding me? Nah, he, he out for the. I think he out for the season anyway. If you were, if you were lying on Jared Vanderbilt, go on the back. <laughs> now we got like three guys. Gabe Vincent is out. Jared Vanderbilt. A lot of our role players are out. Yeah, they're injured. All right. So who else? Who else we got on this list besides obviously the Timberwolves and we said uh, the Thunder. I, mean, I don't want to say it, but I mean, Clippers. They can stay true. healthy. True. They got to stay healthy. They can stay healthy. True. You know, I, I think Russell was out. James Harden doing the other night. Oh, uh, trying to block his own team. Trying to block his own team. Yeah, yeah. Shot yeah. He said that. he was doing it for fun to bring some excitement or whatever, you know, Did back. Did the game because of that? No, no. They won oh, that they game. Won they that won that game. game. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so the Clippers, oh, I'm going to give y'all one, and y'all might not agree, but if that boy Zion stay healthy, and, and B.I. is going to be back. I know B.I. is hurt right now, yeah, but he's going to be back. That's what I'm saying. Well, I was going to say, yeah. He's going to be back in time. Yes. You don't want to see them. Oh, Nobody wants to see them, boys. Most definitely. Especially the way Zion I'm playing. Zion right now. is falling out. <laughs> exactly. Let's make it worse. Yeah. They already overachieved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at what's the B.I. They overachieved. Just with their record. So, so you, bro, the Pelicans. So you agree with the Pelicans? I agree with the Pelicans. Yeah. yeah, bro, the Pelicans were good. I just don't believe in, you know, he don't believe in Zion. 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 You feel like you don't, you don't trust him one time too many. Yeah, injuries. injuries. Like, yeah. I just, not, not wishing nothing on, on, the, on the brother. I, mean, I never wanted to, to succeed, but, man, I just, uh, I just seen this movie before, man. With Zion. Well, I'm going to tell you, Zion, this season, though, because usually during these seasons, he, he doesn't play many games. Well, I think he's played like 60-something games. Right. This see like 65 games this season. So he's, he's played 65 games? Yeah. Well, he's already got the injuries out in the first half of the yeah, season, too. Yeah, yeah. So he's been he's been healthy. He's been doing his thing. And any time Zion is on the court, he balls out. Every year, any time he's on the court, he balls out. And you got to remember the Pelicans the last couple of years, you know, they've actually been a real good team. It's just Zion got hurt. Now they're together. If Brandon Ingram could come back, man, they could they could really put hurt on some on somebody. Sure, I guess we'll see. Y'all let us know if y'all agree with what we said. Please put in the comments whether you think that we're right. And if you don't, let us know who you think is the top. All right. So of course we back at Sneakers and Sports, and we always got some great topics for y'all. We're gonna talk a little more NBA because you know it's NBA season, and we enjoying it. We talking about who are the most four influential NBA players in the whole history of the league. So, Dre, who is your most influential player in the history of the NBA? In your opinion, this is we gonna, we got four, so each one of us gonna take somebody. No brainer for me. Okay, who you got? Irvin Johnson. Okay. The Magic Man. Okay. And why? Why? Man, first of all, he won it. He won in college. Okay. Mm -hmm. And came right to the league and just man, he, he changed. He, he changed the point guard position as being so tall. Six nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. point guard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Passing. and not only just that, like the type of passes like he was actually doing. Yeah. The look and then like just magic man. He he one of my favorite players of all time. Oh yeah, he brought the flash. Like, and everything. He, he yeah. changed. How people viewed the Lakers. Like before, they weren't the Lakers, but they weren't the Lakers. Yeah, they, they were yeah. not the Lakers. Yeah, they were not the exactly. Lakers. Like, exactly. It wasn't like Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Like it brought the Hollywood stars out when yeah. Magic came on. Like, I mean, he changed LA, the city in the right. bro. because of. I mean, bro, we wouldn't have had an HBO special without no, Magic. We yeah, no. yeah. The Dream Team. Yeah. 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 Bro, he saved it. Him along with Bird, they saved the NBA. Facts. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah along oh, with that's, the marketing because he, you know, yeah. it wasn't like the converse weapon and, mm. and stuff like that. He kind of, you know, that was back in the eighties. They weren't who were they marketing before Magic? Doctor J. 
Hey, shout out to Magic Johnson. Converse, we all need a pair of weapons. Okay. ASAP. I know it was a friends and family thing. We friends and family. Send us a pair. Yeah, most Absolutely. definitely. Most so, uh, Mike Expert, who you got is like one of your most influential? Most influential? Man, I'm going to have to go with Steph Curry. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to definitely have to go Chef. with Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's the reason why all these basketball players are playing so bad these days. <laughs> <laughs> And shoot all these three pointers yeah, from half from court. Yeah. yeah, he's the reason why. You got the college players doing it. Oh now. yeah, he's the reason why yeah. Trey Young is going to. <laughs> yeah, he's the reason why Trey Young is going to game and shoot twenty percent right. from the three point. Because <laughs> right. they all yeah. think they can shoot like they all think they can be like. And you see all these kids practicing. Like I'll go to the gym. You know, I'm teaching my kids how to play basketball and stuff, and I'll go to the gym and I'll see other kids. And they just out there just shooting long. They practicing, but they just yeah. shooting three pointers. They shooting from half yeah. court, you know. <laughs> so I give all credit to Steph Curry, you know, for being as great as he is and ruining the game of basketball too. Thank you, Steph Curry. <laughs> hey, what Greg say? Steph Curry with the shot. <laughs> Steph Curry with the shot. Nah, but Steph Curry, you great man. You you're doing your thing. So it's never been a Hold shooter on. like him. Hold on. You said the battery's dead. Oh, it needs to be changed. Okay. okay. All right. I got another one. So we got two more. All right. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. All right, Dom. So who do you have? That's three. That's two. So we got Urban Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. We got Chef Curry. Chef Curry. Who you got? It's only right that I pick the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Who, LeBron? No, that's <laughs> Larry Bird? Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Okay, okay. Jeffrey Jordan. Hey, you better show what's on your feet. <laughs> hey, there you know it is, there it is. MJ, okay? <laughs> come on now. Six championships. Yeah, almost definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. Almost definitely. Let's, like, come on. Chicago. Two Bulls. gold medals. Mm -hmm. Washington Wizards. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, no. They do that, man. That man was scoring 20 points a game with the Wizards. Yeah, yeah. Man. On a bag leg, Dream. drinking cognac and smoking, yeah. and smoking cigars. Dream. Yeah. Hey, like, like you said, with Magic, he won in college mm -hmm. with UNC. Mm -hmm. He did. He won six championships. Yeah. All right. He won at pretty much every level. He birthed one of the greatest basketball Except players to ever play. But Kobe Bryant. He birthed Kobe Bryant. <laughs> you know? And on top of that, the man has the most recognizable logo in the whole world. Most, most definitely. It's never yeah. going to go away. Here's yeah. the one thing he revolutionized our culture in regards to the sneakers. He's the oh reason my why we have this podcast. Yeah. Him and Tinker Hatfield. Him and Tinker Hatfield. Okay. Shout out to but Tinker Hatfield. It was his name. Mm -hmm. that really, I get the Tinker thing, but it was his name. True, yeah. true. It was his name. It was his popularity. Mm -hmm. which is also the reason, just like in the movie, that his mother was like, nah, he's going to sell the shoes. Yes, it's they a nice design, but he's going to sell the shoes. Fact. Yeah. Air Jordan, okay? Mm -hmm. He's got movies. He's got advertisements beyond Nike. I want to be yeah. like Mike. You know, the legendary commercials. I mean, come on. We all know. So mm -hmm. that's one for me. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go in a different direction. I'm going to go with that boy AI Iverson, oh, Bubba yeah. Chuck. One of my favorites, Bubba Chuck. Shout out to Bubba Chuck. Actually, this is a cool story. I actually met him in front of Cumberland Mall, showed me love. I was shocked. Me and Iverson like the same height, but mm -hmm. obviously he has way more talent. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. So, of course, when we talk about Allen Iverson, this man saved Reebok because they had Shaquille and Shaquille had kind of, you know, did his thing and it was cold. And this man came in with the question. It was doing numbers just like the jump man. And right. then my guy, he just revolutionized the crossover. We've never seen nobody hit MJ with the crossover. He told you he did it two times just to make sure you didn't miss it and you saw it. Oh, yeah. Then he's the reason all these guys are wearing tattoos. Mm. Well, nobody tatted up like him. Rodman was a little bit, but he yeah. made it popular. Mm -hmm. You know, dudes is not rocking cornrows until Iverson showed up. Exactly. exactly. Myself. Right. <laughs> exactly. So he gave the style. He brought hip hop. Yeah. On top of all that, he included like the locks in his commercials. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it just got to be Iverson. He's just, you know, probably in my mind, the jersey, the most influential yeah. ever. So, yeah. So, Allen Iverson, man. So, of course, the sneakers and sports, we got all the sports topics. This ain't just no NBA show, it's a sports show. So, speaking on that, Y'all know NFL free agency is hot and heavy right now. There's been a lot of movement. A lot of teams have done things like the Saints just got Chase Young. The Falcons got Captain Kirk. You like that? You know, so a lot of teams have made great moves. You don't, don't like, like that? that? 
No. Okay. So let's talk about the winners and the losers. Mm -hmm. So since you don't like that, Dre, let's start with you. Who is your winner and who is your loser in free agency? Well, uh, let's see. I may have to say the Eagles again. As a winner? Yeah. Okay. Like, hey, man, they, they're, they're, they're the most aggressive. You bring in Saquon Barkley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And You bring back your defensive players. Yep. Everybody came back. With yeah, the exception of Fletcher, Fletcher Cox, obviously. Yeah, he, he, he retired. Yeah, CJ Jordan Johnson, you bring him back. And guess what? They just, the rules committee say you get to keep the tush push. Right. They just said that. What they were trying to say was, was cheating or something? They were going to ban it. They were trying to ban it. Yeah. They're saying it's an unfair thing. How? Come on. It's football. It's football. It's football. Uh, but yeah, come on, man, it. stop. How about that? How about you draft will and right. stop. But anyway, um, so I would say I would say the Eagles uh, won free agency. He asked me who lost. Who lost? Shoot, I said the Saints lost. No, I would say that. Chase, you don't think so? I think I don't think that's a loss. Yeah. I mean, All Chase right, Chase Young ain't been but putting up numbers. Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. Chase Young has not been putting up numbers like that. I mean, you played on the other side of though, you played on the other side of Bosa, yeah. Yeah, but then, okay, so since they haven't moved, I mean, they, they, they feel like they're good. If, if you what is the point? Make moves. If, if you want to go there, you want to say, right? Like, this sounds like this is getting personal. You know, it's it's getting say, personal. How, how the Saints? I, I feel like no, we didn't do enough. But who lost? Like it's getting personal. Lost. All right. So so yeah, you know, it's mental. But you feel like they didn't do enough. You feel like I got better? On the line? Yeah. No, he said it's an organization, it's an organization overall. Overall. No, I can't say that. I mean, say defense, line. Womp, womp, womp. All right, but did this Cowboys get better? Did the well, the Cowboys are kind of in cap hell right now, so they can, how much better can they do? That, that was one of mine. That was one of my losers. Right now. All right, so here, let's go to... Let's let's go to Mike the expert. Hold on, we, we got we got more coming. Don't no, don't take it so personal. Right, right. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, hey, hey, sit. Yeah, sip on some of this delicious lemonade. It'll help nah, it'll help man, you bring your temperature back down. No empty calories <laughs> right now. We good. So so <laughs> so that that was one of mine. One of my losers was the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry, okay. Yep. Um, and then one of my winners, believe it or not, were the Chiefs. And the reason why, okay. for the, yeah, the reason why for the Chiefs, they locked up um, defensive tackle Chris Jones for five I years. Like yeah, they restructured Pat Mahomes' contract, which allowed them to um, get um, I forgot the guy's name, Marquise. He's a wide receiver, Marquise oh, Brown. Marquise Hollywood Brown. Brown. Yeah, so they wind up being able to get him. So I like that. Now the losers, the Dallas Cowboys, and the reason why I say that because Jerry Jones was, oh, we're we're pushing, we're 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 we're, we're going in to win. And right. all they really did was lose a bunch of people. <laughs> you know? Who are the Dallas Cowboys? Who is the Dallas Cowboys running back? You say they're good enough. Who is their running back? They, they Pollard's gone. Pollard's gone. Yeah, he the yeah. Door. He's gone. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. That's but they're in Cap like, Hill. That's though, why man. I say they're the losers. Yeah. They're in Cap Hill. Yeah, that's and why I say they're the losers. They were supposed to get uh, King Henry, and they didn't get him. Mm -hmm. They didn't try. He even said it. He got in the press, press conference and said, no, nah, they didn't never call. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the Cowboys to and me are the losers. Yeah. They lost Tyron Smith. Yeah, right. Tyron, yeah, to Tyron Jets. Smith, hey. Armstrong, everybody. They they just losing their people. So yeah, they they're the losers. They're gonna be sorry next year. Sorry, Cowboys fans. You know. But, hey, welcome to Sneakers and Sports. Where you get to see these guys go at it because we love the, the Falcons and he loves this other team that play in New Orleans. I don't know the name of the they're team. They're called the New Orleans Saints. But okay. yeah, he right. he's All got right. a sickness over there. I never heard of. Yeah. yeah, he's got a sickness over there. So, at the bottom anyway, so, so I guess that's your winner then, huh? Chase Young. <laughs> <No. laughs> no. So you got a winner with Chase Young? No, you don't like that. No. I'm gonna go with the other black and gold. Okay. Steelers. Yeah, that yeah, that was gonna be. Yeah. Steelers, man. Hands down. All right. Not only do you get Russell Wilson off of cheap mm. and have. Denver holding the bag on that. Mm -hmm. You also took a great linebacker from the Ravens and Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen. To mm -hmm. soup yeah. up your defense that was already got TJ Watt on there. You know, like. Link of Fitzpatrick. Link of Fitzpatrick. Yeah. I mean, 
their defense was already solid, basically got them into the, the playoffs, and all you needed was a quarterback. And now, not only do you have Russell Wilson, now you pick up Justin Fields. Yeah, yeah man. For the future. Yeah, man. At the yeah, age of 25. For nothing. Mm-hmm. For a bag of nickels. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even see, I didn't see that coming. They straight up Ocean 11, the whole NBA for Justin Fields, for real. Like, they, it was a high school. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. They were all doing without a handgun and a ski mask. I'm, I'm yeah. very happy for Tomlin. I'm very happy for him. But dang, like, I'm thinking, looking at my team, like, come on, man. I'm going to Kamara, maybe even for Justin Fields. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, well, hold on, hold on. Kamara's name ain't popping like it used to. So you I ain't going to get over that. I said Kamara and maybe something else. Like, I would have made that deal Will Smith? for the future. Will Smith? Will Smith. You talking about uh, oh Cameron Jordan. Jordan. Cameron Jordan. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Recipe. Yeah. Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. But wow. I'm just saying, if that deal would have been made, and I could probably say and look at y'all, y'all would have made that deal too. Or you would have wanted your owner to make that deal rather than get Kirk I mean, well, for them not to give up that much asset, I'm asking sure right. that we didn't. Mm-hmm. We, 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 I feel like we so overpaid. Well, the word on the street is that they they tried to basically hold us over the barrel for Justin Fields. They wanted like a second mm-hmm. and a third. Are you gonna you gonna give up a second and a third for Justin Fields? Oh okay, come on, so, man, so, get out of here with that. So they didn't want to. They right. didn't have a chance. When the Steelers, they wanted to come him. Right, and then when the Steelers jumped in, the, the the market had already tanked. They couldn't ask for no more. Yeah, there was no market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is that really the Steelers yeah, being great? Like, or is that the Bears it's being stupid? Game. I think it's more the Bears being stupid. They oh they tried to they try to fleece us. I hope I no, hope they don't. They desperate the eleventh hour. Right, yeah, they tried to fleece us. They, they, they tried to fleece the Colts. So the Colts said, "We'll go get Gardner Minshew. We're not gonna let you fleece us." So well, yeah. Gardner Minshew was already on the Colts. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, Raiders, the Raiders. The Raiders. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. The Raiders. They tried to fleece them. You know. I so. thought something was gonna happen more around draft time. With bills and everything, you know. No, but at that point, he has no value yeah. in draft. He has no value. He has zero value. value. You know, one of those teams nah, that didn't get a quarterback. The window they could have waited. They should have kept him. I think they could have waited. Uh, dude from USC and kept him. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. And so when you have a catastrophic injury like an Aaron Rodgers, now, well, honestly, they got to be an honorable mention though. Picking up Keenan Allen, I mean, that was. That was really good. No, no, no. I'm not. They're not a loser. They're not a loser, they're but a loser. yeah, but they tried to fleece everybody on a bad. They could have got though. a lot more for Justin Fields than what they did. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. So my winner, of course, I'm not going to be a homer. Unlike him, I actually like the Captain Kurt signing because I don't know what else they would do. There wasn't a lot of options for the Falcons, but my winner is going to be the Cleveland Browns, bro. They kept their whole defense together, which was a monster. They got into the playoffs. You upgraded your second the quarterback. Was very good. You kept everybody. Brought them all back. You got, and, and and then, this is the other thing, too. To his point, you upgraded your second quarterback. I mean, I, I like, you know, what, what was going on last year as far as, you know, uh, the replacement of Deshaun Watson because you went through, what, three, four different quarterbacks, P.J. Walker, DTR, you know, right. Flacco. So you brought all these guys in, and you bring in Jameis, which I'm, you know, not a huge Jameis fan, but – Flacco's an old man. At some point, time is going to catch up to him like it did in the playoffs. So, you know, I like that. You have no quarterback controversy. You fleece Denver for Jerry Judy. You know, so now you got some on the other side of uh, Cooper. Well, here's the thing, though. What are you asking Jerry Judy? You're not asking to be a number one. You're asking Jerry Judy to be a number two. So now you, like, they number one and number two is Cooper and David and Joku. So now he really like a glorified three. You, you tell me he can't get off as a three? And he's with another guy from Alabama that can help him how, learn how to be a pro? So, I mean, I think they're in good shape. They're in real good shape. And then, you know, they bring in De- Devontae Freeman. You know, De- Kareem Hunt is out. Kareem Hunt's washed. You bring in Devontae Freeman. So I think the operation stockpile went crazy. Them guys did really good. My loser has to be the Vikings, bro. You lost, you lost Captain Kirk. You didn't bring in anybody. You know, you lose Daniel Hunter, the, the best pass rusher in all. Of, 
And actually, the Texans could have been the winner, but the best pass rusher on the market, you lose him, you bring in nobody, and you're not in a position to draft a, a quarterback. And you're not in a position to get Drake May. You're not in a position to get JG. I think they're going to probably. I think they're gonna but probably you got to try to trade up, trade though. Up. You know you can't get Caleb. He's off the table now. You probably can't get Daniels. You can't get Drake May. So what do you you you, you draft you? Bo Nix. Bo Nix, really? Yeah. Penix? That's what you jumping up to get? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a good. stretch, man. That's yeah. called a reach. Yeah. You know what a reach does if you're a general manager? You start looking for another job. You on LinkedIn, you know, filing out, you know, filling out applications and stuff like that. But y'all know it's the favorite time of the year. It's March Madness. So mm -hmm. before we jump into the March Madness, man. Y'all feel like these NIL deals are good for, you know, the schools? Are they benefiting the players a little bit more right now? Definitely the players. Yeah, definitely benefiting the players. It's not, you know, schools. The schools are losing out on them because they can just hit the portal if they feel like they're not getting paid more uh, mm -hmm. enough. So, Dre, you think that's what made Nick Saban just walk away and quit? Like uh, He admitted it. Yeah. He admitted it. Yeah. He was just like, well, you know, my, my wife was cooking for the uh, – the new recruits, and um, they, you know, she she pulled them to the side. Like they just worried about what they what they getting paid. How much you going to pay me? So you think that's more about nil, or he don't want to compete? Well, I, I just feel like with Nick Nick old school. First of all, okay, he's old school, and, mm -hmm. and, and 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 he he's right. He he's coming from an era of developing players. Right? Nick oh, yeah. Saban has put players in a in a Hall of Fame, like mm -hmm. right. So, you know, he, he feel like that, that's all lost because he's like, man, like, I'm, I'm just trying to get you better, you know, prepare for the league. Right. Not more so just to get you paid right now. Like, right. right. That's what the league is for. You're an amateur athlete, right? You're mm -hmm. an amateur athlete. So you go through that. My program, my program is, is hey, stats don't lie. Right. I put all the first rounds in. How many first rounders I have I put in the league? Too many to count. I mean, come on. Yeah. So, so yeah, he, his his program is tried and true. So he feel like, hey, that, that's the arrow come from. I'm not going to do this new arrow. And I think the big thing kind of with Nick Saban, he is old school and he wants to mentor the players. He wants to develop them. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He wants to uh, give them the skills to be disciplined, to right. practice their craft. All right. And when you start paying these guys millions and millions of dollars, and hundreds a lot of thousands, of times, you've already got the goal. You're already driving maybe a, a Maybach, or yeah, whatever, yeah, a bag, Corvette, whatever. Something, mm -hmm. right? Like, what's gonna really get you up in the morning when you already got money? So, like, where's the goal here? What are they working for? Yeah. What are they working? So, for? is this gonna keep them? Do you think this is gonna keep them in? college and stuff a little bit longer. Well, you NIL. already got to stay the three years anyway to yeah. before you go to the NFL. Yes, but I mean, even, so yeah, for football, but what about basketball? I know, think so, because them, what's the rush to get there? to the league if you already making money? Making, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. This is true. Which so is that would be you. good for the college. You right. know, you, you're keeping those players in longer, you know, so it actually might work out for the colleges. I know. think the certain coaches yeah. that are more um, kind of appeal to the young crowd so you coach prime good with like hey you look good you play good they pay good coach you know, prime flashy. yeah i'm you know hey we got this hey you know what I'm saying you can get you a car you, all mm -hmm. this that those coaches are gonna capitalize i agree because yeah. if you look at shador sanders and again we know his father's famous and they have money but he is one of the top players in nil yeah. and he said i'm gonna go back to school so i can be the number one pick, the number one quarterback off the board, not two or three. Right. Mm -hmm. If he had been in this draft, I can't say that he's ahead of Daniels. No, I can't say he's ahead of not. he's not ahead of he's, he's not ahead of Caleb, Caleb, Caleb either. So now he's, he's number three. Down in the Bo Nix, Michael Penix type area, possibly. Possibly because it's yeah. his only year in Power Five. Yeah. So you know, so again, I think it's a great thing. And to Mike the expert's point, if we look at college basketball, we just said in our last episode we can't even name five guys. They play on any roster in the tournament right now. Uh, yeah. But we can name women because they're staying in school. We get to watch their game develop. We get to know you. So, oh, yeah. They yeah. get money too, which they deserve. It's time. Yeah. I they think it's going to help. I get money. Yeah. So, so speaking of getting money, yeah. we know we got some money on the table with this, with this, with this tournament, man. It's getting mm -hmm. kind of crazy. Right. You know, it's getting real interesting. So, Dom basically put us all in a group yeah, together. 
we we we, we put a couple we put a, we cup, a couple of Mountain Dews on it. You know, it's a little bag to get. Mm-hmm. So Dom, um, couple of LOL burgers, couple LOL burgers. You know, <laughs> couple CLs on that thing. Yep, yep. Right. So Dom, um, who you have winning in your bracket? Like All this right. is let's start there. Who's your winner? My winner. UConn Huskers. Okay, I do think they're gonna repeat. Uh, I think they're well coached. Okay. Well disciplined. From of course the little bit that I have seen, but I mean I picked against them last year. I said this year and that, and it's just not gonna happen. Um, you know I just think they don't take it all the way. I do have them going against Purdue. Okay. Um, I've already lost one of my final four as in Kentucky. And shout out to Gramlin. I mean they did put up a good first half. Yeah, they got in the tournament, mm-hmm. you know, so HBC love, I would have loved to see them just upset the whole thing, but yeah. nobody's been able to do it since Hampton, so let's move on, you know. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, and my other uh, final four, uh, I think, is, uh, I can't even remember. Oh, UNC. So UNC, mm-hmm. Purdue, mm-hmm. Kentucky's already out, um, and I got UConn and Purdue in the championship that UConn win. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I'm going to just cut to the chase. I'm going Carolina, man. Carolina going to take this thing. Mm-hmm. Y'all underestimating these guys. These guys got experience. Carolina's bringing back an experienced team. Has already made a deep run. They're mm-hmm. very well coached. Shout out to Hubert Davis. Yep. Uh, you know, he's an NBA player and a Carolina uh, alum. So I think the Carolina really got this thing. And they're in a favorable bracket to get to the end. You know, they don't have a lot of pitfalls along the way where – UConn got some pitfalls to overcome. You know, uh, Purdue got some pitfalls to overcome, which I think Purdue can be strong and make it to the final. My final is, is, is uh, UNC and, and Purdue. And Purdue putting up this 80 points a game. UConn, I mean, Carolina putting up like 80 points a game. In my mind, a tournament is all about being able to score. Play a little bit of defense, but you got to be able to score. So and Carolina can do that in spades. What you got, Dre? So my, my bracket already busted. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's Wait, okay. Man, who do you have out? Well, Kentucky. Kentucky, you know, yeah, Bro, have. now how you gonna do that knowing they went to bed the last three years? Uh, the last four years. At some point, I, I it's a brand name. Yeah. No, you thinking about Anthony Davis and Cat and all them guys in the NBA. Good, like, it, it, you thinking about John Wall. Still Kentucky, but yeah. Mm-hmm. They I had Kentucky, but I got um. I'm with you, man. I had NC winning it, uh, playing against Kentucky in, in um in the final. In the finals, right? It's just man. Oh dang, so you had him in the final. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout man. out to Cliff Thompson <laughs> doing the NI deals for for, for oh, UNC. Man. Yeah. All right, Mike. What you say? Yeah. So mine was um actually like KP's. I I can't believe we came up with the same stuff. But yeah. of course, North Carolina. Yes, sir. You know, I have North Carolina. That's my squad. I've always loved North Carolina, so I'm I'm sticking with them. I'm glad they're good. Um, they're six in defensive efficiency, so I'm I'm big on that, big on the defense. I got them going against Purdue, who I mean, I mean Purdue's great also. You know, what right. I'm saying Purdue, they're I mean offense. They got that seven four guy. I mean they they really can do some yeah, stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But huge. I'm gonna go with North Carolina, Auburn. They were part of my final four. They're gone. They're already out. They lost. And then I had I had Houston also, so they're still there. So. Yeah. But yeah, North Carolina, I'm going with them. You know, like I said, I always rock blue, blue, you know. So North Tar Hill Carolina Nation stand up. Tar Hill, that's where I got it. Tar Hill Nation stand up. Yep, yep. So real quick on the women's side, the side I'm actually more enthused about. Because mm-hmm. I want to see if LSU can bring this thing back. But my final, and I think y'all all gonna probably agree, I got South Carolina and Iowa, and Caitlin Clark actually gonna walk off with this ring and do this thing the right way. Okay. okay. And I, I think Caitlin gonna go crazy. I think this final game. She gonna give us a forty piece, bro. She wanna go out with a bang, bro. Yeah. She don't like that dirt they don't put on this girl on her name. So, yeah, what y'all think? Tomorrow, you, right? you like that, Dre? I like. It. I like that. I think LSU is gonna come down to them two again. Mm-hmm. LSU and I. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I think LSU will go ahead and repeat. Here's the thing. Uh, in the bracket, uh, LSU. It's like I think Iowa is in the same bracket with LSU. Yeah, they are. To get to the final four. I would have to beat LSU. So I'm mm-hmm. saying LSU is going to beat Iowa. Yeah. Right? And my championship game, I can't remember who. I know I said USC was going to be in the final four. Yeah. But they're not going to make it to the championship game. 
it was going to be a rematch of South Carolina and LSU in South Carolina and Texas. Okay, shout out to Don Staley. We'll see what happens. Even though I'm a more LSU fan, mm -hmm. I, I just think I got LSU. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand yeah. Right. yeah. 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 South Carolina. I think I think this is their year. The game time. I think it will be LSU on South Carolina, but I got I'm actually going with LSU. You're going with LSU? Yeah. Okay. So I do think those two are gonna make So you say you say Angel Lee's gonna walk off with that ring. Yes. What's that? Okay. What's that? Okay. We're gonna see. We'll y'all comment. Let us know what y'all think. If y'all agree with us. If you don't, hey, it's all good. We want to hear what y'all gotta say. And we love everybody that comments, you know. So if you keep commenting, we'll give you a shout out on the show. So before we get out of here, y'all know this is sneakers and sports. We gotta talk sneakers now. The thing that we all love, you know, I got on, I got on a pair of OGs. My man, you what would you, you rock in there? A pair of Yeezys, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. we got some other hot, we got some other heat over here. So, yep. talking about heat. Yep. I put in a group. We're in a group together. Y'all know we're on the show together. So, uh, we got a like a March Madness of sneakers. Okay. So we don't talk about, and y'all gonna be able to see this. We'll talk about who wins the March Madness of sneakers. So we got in the first round, the Jordan 1 versus the Jordan 16. Jordan 1. Jordan 1. Yeah, Jordan okay. 1. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> That's out of there. That's small, All right. So now in that same bracket, we got the Jordan 6 versus Jordan 13. Jordan 6. Okay. Are right, we moving down 13. the bracket? Go ahead. Go ahead. You got a 13? Oh, yeah. I got the 13. Okay. I like That's that. That's just like because, that. you know, I just bought some 13. Six or the thirteen? He gonna say six. I gotta go with the six, man. It's hard too. That's that's. that's, that's I got close. I got the thirteen. I like it's close. Okay. It's close. Majority yeah. wins. Majority wins. Go ahead. All right, the four versus the ten. Oh lord, four. Yeah, four. I love the ten. Four. Yeah, yeah. Four. Shout out to the Sean, the Sun University, the mm -hmm. Sean University. My boy Antoine Harris, big big Jordan ten guy. I gotta go with the four as well. Yeah, definitely. Four. All right, the Jordan twelve versus the Jordan eight. Twelve. 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 Hey man, y'all hating on the eight, bro. <laughs> All because of a flu game. Well, well wow. Moving on. All right, so say, Texas, yo, them, Texas, yo, I'm All sorry, right. them doing eights is ugly, yo. No. <laughs> them things are ugly. We just don't like the aqua, man. The aqua's legend. Oh, my goodness, he don't like the aqua. All right, so now, now that brings up the Jordan four versus the Jordan eight. I go with the four. Four. The four all day. I mean, the, the Jordan four versus four Jordan, Jordan twelve. Excuse me. The Jordan 4 versus Jordan four, 12. Still 4. But I will say Jordan 12 wins on comfort. <laughs> no, nah, I got it. Jordan 4s are not comfortable. I don't so, know. Yeah, I mine, mine, mine feel great. I love mine. No. And yeah, the 4, all, all the iconic I, colorways. Okay, yeah, so we got. I, I have to go with 4. Yeah. We got the. It's all right. So that's a unanimous. We got the Jordan 1 versus the Jordan 6. It's getting interesting now. One. It's one. getting kind of heavy. I'm going 1. I go with the 1s. I thought the 13s were better all right, than the so Dom, 6 or 1. I mean. Six, man. That's oh, okay, okay. Now it's getting interesting. If I just got to go off I mean, of OG colorways, no. the six gonna win. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But I gotta go with the one because the one got so much variety and so many colorways. It's really hard to just kind of. Yeah, but that's OG, OG. Yeah, because like dog, no. and it's OG, yeah. OG for me because that was like my first Air Jordan. But when you start talking about like the one. Personal. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, here's the thing. I was like, three and zero. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. When you talk about the ones in your current collection, the lost yeah. and founds, right? For those of us that have trash, things like that, off whites, all that. You're right. Beat the six. It. And shout out to our boy Adam Gibbons, big fan it. of the six. It's just a personal favorite. All right. Fine. All right. So now yeah. we about to, we about to get into the final on this side of the bracket. We got the Jordan four versus the Jordan one. I already know what I'm picking. The four. Oh yeah. yeah. I can't yeah, go I'm against the four, the four, bro. Sorry. The military four is my no, all-time favorite. Four. I'm going with the one. Four. One. All right. All right. It's all on you. It's all on you. The four is on that. Jordan one. It's all on you, BG. With the Jordan one. The it's final so decision is up to you. Come on. Come on, Dre. Yeah, four. Yeah, four. Mm. I feel like that four made Nike the brand that they are. Like, Facts. It's the four. Yeah, four, man. I, it, like, I'm a one guy. Like, one. Mm -hmm. That's my shoe, man. Y'all love fours, man. man the fours, dog. Nice, yeah. Dog, the yeah, red four by itself. Yeah, the fire yeah. red. Yeah, right. them fours are them nice. Red yeah. Fours is love. Yeah. But. But. What? What was the but? 
No, don't do this. <laughs> Come on. Don't do this. Come on. You are on the right this. side. No. You, right you want to explain yourself to African Caesar. You make, you make the wrong <laughs> pick. Shout out to African Caesar. Y'all going to see the interview coming soon. You have to explain to Caesar when you say something crazy. You have to explain this to Jumpman Bostic when you say something crazy. Don't do it to yourself. Come on now. Don't let this man sway you. Don't let this man sway you. What's more hype than Jordan 1's? SB4? SB4? Uh, not more than the Travis Scott's or the, uh, the Off-Whites. I don't know about that, dog. The SB4 is killer, nah. bro. It's killer. That's just new. That's just new. It's killer. But if you go back to Chicago 1 Off-Whites, come on now. Go back to the UNC Off-Whites. Come on now. Really? Nah. No, the Jordan 4 is so iconic. You don't need all these collaborations. Nah. That's the crazy well, thing. The 4. He already said four. Yeah, the, the 4. four is so iconic. The 4, it don't even, the four is so iconic. Check this out. It don't need no low top. It don't need no collaborations. It just is what it is. I didn't even, I didn't even have to think twice. It's the 4. Come on, man. Hurry up. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> no. you minds want to know, man. <laughs> All right, come on, man. We got we got to move the bracket on. We still got a whole other side to get to. All right, let's go forward. All right, come on. Thank here, you. Thank you. Got here, bro. <laughs> we know not to let you decide what we eat for dinner. We'll never eat. Oh man. All right, so now on the other side, we got the Jordan three versus Jordan fifteen. Three, 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 three of easy. course. The Jordan seven versus Jordan nine. Seven, nine, seven, seven, seven. Nine. seven but it's, not, it's it's closer than what you think. Seven. Yeah. seven. seven. That's why I, think. I say nine. Okay, this is unfair. The, nine. the eleven versus the two. This is really unfair. Eleven. The 11. 11. Come on. Yeah, come on. Okay. Yes. The five versus the fourteen. Five. And, the, five. and this is only the shoes that Mike wore. It's we not going past fourteen. Oh yeah. All right. So the five. Okay. So now hey. we got. I mean, excuse me. The five. Technically, he didn't really. Yes, he did. He wore it with the Wizards. Yeah, he did. He did. He, he wore it with the Wizards. He wore the ginger. He did. He wore the ginger with the Wizards. The, the, the OG one. He wore the ginger with the Wizards. Yeah, he wore the ginger. But he didn't wear this, this black and red one that we... That's fine. Uh, but okay. No, let's go. Let's go. He didn't wear that. All right. So you're saying the 5 versus the 14, right? 5. All right. Now we got the 11 versus the 5. You already know. I'm going with the 11. I love the 5, bro. I'm saying 5. I know y'all going to go with 11. Five. Yo. Okay, yeah, so Mike, yeah. five. I'm going with the five. Yeah, I'm the yeah, I'm a, I'm going with the five. Y'all crazy. Wow. Wow. Please wow. come in. These wow. boys wow. got they sick over here picking yeah. the the Jordan five yeah. over the eleven. That's like yeah. Kentucky losing yeah. Like that. yeah, I go, I go with five. Upset. That's upset. Yeah, yeah. All right, five. Five is here. All right, so we got the Jordan seven versus the Jordan three. I'm going with the three. The three. It's, it's just two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's the three versus the five. Now it's the three versus yeah, the five. I'm going with the three. I'm going with the three. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's the three. So versus the three versus, versus the four. four. It's a show. This is a championship. Yeah, this is a championship. This is a championship. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. This is awesome. Woo. All right, go ahead. Jump it off, man. Go ahead. Four, 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 man. Oof. Four, yeah, them four, military four. fours is hard to go. Yeah. Do the right thing, man. Hey, man. He said, I should give you 100 headaches for stepping on my Jordans. What you, what you got? Oh, man, this the is so man hard. Up, man. I got you. The, 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 the Military 4 is my all-time favorite of every sneaker in the whole world. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't even, know which one to say. Even above the 11. No, even above the 11. No, it's the 11. But I got go to go with the Jordan 3. I got every Jordan 3 in OG colorway. The Jordan 3 just is what it is. And that was my first pair of Air Jordans ever. I had the, the white cement as a little kid. They had no air bubble on it. Mm -hmm. I got to go with the, the three. Let me ask you something. What was he wearing when he jumped from the free throw line in that the three, that crazy, mm -hmm. legendary post in the three? The threes. The threes. The threes. Okay. The three. Go ahead and put him out of his misery. Whew. Because of what I got on my feet right now. Uh, <laughs> I got to go with yes, the three. Yes, you know yes, what I'm Yes, sir. <laughs> Got to go with the three. <laughs> All right, so y'all, please comment. We want to hear from y'all. Who do you think wins this bracket? Y'all think we off deck? We just want to know. Yeah, gonna show what time it is. Show what time it is. Show what time it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Y'all see him from threes. This was me. Oh, we take it off. This was me. Let me take mine off. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, man. Yeah. Them threes. And they all just pop up. <laughs> and you know, that's just how they do. Okay? But y'all know who's going to get blasted, bro. Right? Everybody going to pick you in that. That's going to be everyone's. Well, we're going to find out. Hey. Please comment and let us know. Like so, subscribe, share with us. You said subscribe. Real quick before we get out of here. Subscribe. Real quick before we get out of here, we got to give a special shout out. A real big special shout out. Y'all know we're LOL Burger Bar, so shout out to them. But this is near and dear to me because I appreciate everybody that actually watches our show and supports us. So, Prime, give my man a shout out. This guy has has commented on everything that we have ever done and been supporting us from day one. So I really oh, love it, man. Man, shout out to uh, I don't, don't want to mess up your name there, but we got his name is V R R O Q Q Star Q Star Q Star V R R E Q Star. And we really appreciate the love, yeah, man, and the engagement. Thanks, yeah, yeah, you know, most definitely. You know, man, you you like our one our, our day one us, man. So yep. yeah, and mm -hmm. we appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, man. So if y'all comment and y'all show us love, we show y'all love. So y'all know we got more great content coming. We got some special interviews. Check out, we actually about to drop two episodes in a row right now. So y'all can check those out. We got the Jordan Three Reimagined up. We got episode one and two up. We got yeah. everything up. Us arguing about Scotty Pippen. Man, we should, I think we should send him something. Yeah. Hey. Email us. Email us, okay. and you will get a, you gonna get something special from the from us. We will get you some merch too from Boy Retro. We will get you some Boy Retro merch, and we will send you something. See, we show love over here. That's what we do. So of course, shout out to everybody in Atlanta: Mike Rich, Jay the Sneaker Guy, Tony D Two Wild. Hey, and special shout out because we got an interview coming up with African Caesar. So y'all check that out. It's gonna yeah, be real dope. KJ Kicks. Oh, KJ Kicks. KJ Kicks. Yes. Yep, yep. KJ Kicks. And of course, Noor. We see you. Mm -hmm. right. Don't forget, Sneakers and Sports brought to you right here at the famous LOL Burger. Follow us on Instagram at LOL Burger Bar. We got the best burgers, the best wings, the best shakes. Most definitely. Sweet lemonades. Hey, come check us out at the Forge Ferry Road. Um, you're welcome. Like, share, subscribe, follow us at The Culture One on Instagram. We'll see y'all next time.